So here are the plans for the backhoe that we're building for this project. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot going on. It's easy to get overwhelmed when you look at everything uh, in a project all at once. So to make this more manageable, I'm going to take it down into bite-sized pieces. And in this first video, we're going to be making this right here. This is the frame for the backhoe. This is where uh, the backhoe is going to mount to the tractor. This is kind of the primary uh, control area for the backhoe. The hydraulic control valves are going to connect right to the top. The pivot slew of the backhoe is going to connect right here. The stabilizer feet for the backhoe are going to come off of this section. Uh, this diagram right here is part of the backhoe plans I purchased from PF Engineering. You can check out their website at backhoeplans.com. The more detailed measurements are found on this page right here. I'm going to be using this to uh, accurately duplicate what's on this drawing and make it for our tractor. Here's the material we're working with today. I'm going to turn that pile of steel into this. Check it out.
So here's how far we've gotten with all of the cutting and welding you've just seen. This is the the backhoe control station uh, and I'd like to talk about each of the components here now most of it is just tacked together just so I can kinda get the right fit and visualize everything before I weld everything into its final position uh, this is for the most part this is made out of uh, eighth inch thick steel this I believe is a piece of four by three and this down here is a piece of four by three as well this is I believe a piece of three by three square 2x2 two two square, and then we got some quarter inch angle right here. I've welded caps onto everything that would be exposed to the elements right there. This piece uh, is the main pivot of the backhoe. Uh, I believe it's called the slew. The slew is what's going to attach right in here, and the slew is what controls the pivoting uh, 180 degrees on the rear of the tractor. So this right here is a one and a half inch hole. I'm going to be putting a one and a half inch outer diameter, one inch inner diameter bushing through this, uh, and it's going to be a big beefy one inch pin that connects this primary station to the slew. Uh, as you can see, for my little welder that I have, I was able to get very good welds on this uh, 3 inch steel. So I'm very happy about that. Here are some of the other welds if you're interested in seeing them. Now on top here, it's missing a component I haven't tacked in yet, and that is this right here. This is where the uh, hydraulic controls are going to mount. They're going to mount right on top uh, and that's how I'm going to control the backhoe from sitting on the tractor over there. Now here is also, I began uh, mocking up some of the mounting points. This is roughly how the backhoe is going to mount to this tractor. Uh, it's not finished yet, so what this is, is this is a big four inch wide piece of quarter inch steel. I've drilled six holes in it, six half inch holes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bolt uh, this subframe to the tractor frame via six grade five bolts. Uh, I'm also going to be welding a piece that drops down to connect to that lower portion where I'm pointing of this backhoe uh, control station. And then I'm going to add uh, gussets that go from there back up to here. I'm also going to add gussets from here to there to really add a lot of uh, strength to this subframe. Now the plans originally called for a mounting system that would block this rear end. If I ever wanted to change the fluids with the other design, I'd have to take the backhoe off, and it was just a lot of hassle. So I'm uh, creating my own design, and I think it's going to be plenty strong, uh, and it's going to be great. Now, for the mounting, I also made these. Uh, these are made out of, I believe, a 3-inch angle iron. They're 3 16 of an inch thick with a 1-inch hole in it. These right here are going to mount. I'm going to weld them to the backhoe control, control station like this. There's going to be two for each mount. So there's going to be one on this side and then one on this side. I'll see if I can hold it with one hand so you can visualize what it's going to be like. So it's going to be something like this. I'm going to weld it in place and that's how that's how the backhoe is going to mount to the subframe. I'm going to use one inch pins and there are going to be four of them. So there's a mount here. Let me get this off. So it's going to mount here, it's going to mount there, and then I'm also going to mount it below. And that's what I'm going to be working on now. Okay, so this is part of the backhoe subframe mount. I'm adding that vertical strip down here to help attach to the lower point of the backhoe. Uh, I'm going to connect it right here. I beveled this piece a little bit, and I'm going to weld it together, hit it with some good heat. So here... I'm preparing to tack in the mounting points for the backhoe. Uh, I've already tacked these in and the rest are kind of held together with clamps and I'm going to go around and make sure that the pins slide in and out easily and then tack them all in place. There are a total of four mounting points. One there, one down there, one here, and one down there.
So we've just finished tacking uh, all of the mounting points in place. Let's just make sure they all, all the pins should uh, go in and out pretty smoothly, which they do. So that's a good sign. Let's uh, get rid of these blocks underneath. If I pull this block on everything worked, that means it should be floating in air, which look at that, it is. Here the mounting points are. One there, one there. Coming over to this side, one there, and then one down there. Let's get this all welded up. If you need new, high-quality aftermarket parts for your vintage small engines, like your Kohler K-Series, Magnum Series, Briggs & Stratton cast iron, and Tecumseh HH engines, please check out my website, isavetractors.com. Thanks for watching.